Do you want to watch some never before seen footage of the Valorant Mobile playtest? Let's take a look. Alright guys, now before we begin, I do want to give a huge shout out to Danny Intel on Twitter and on YouTube. He's the individual who actually provided to us some of this leaked information here and specifically the full unseen gameplay that we're about to take a look. Now Danny is also a huge leaker when it comes to Warzone Mobile and some other mobile titles, so do make sure to give Danny a follow and support him as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so we're at the loading screen. Now I believe looking at some initial preview from what i saw uh this may be gameplay from the map ascent and i think this is the specific gameplay of breach now we did see this before earlier we did see a um all right so selecting team deathmatch and we're going into the queue so we did see something like this before uh but it was only i think it was like a 13 second clip um, and you know, I believe if this is correct, there he goes. Ascent. Ten people to accept. Now, if I if I am correct, this is the same gameplay that I'm thinking about before. The enemy team may have a sky. I'm not entirely sure yet. It's breach. All right. Pretty cool loading screen. And here we go. All right, so this is not the same gameplay. No, it is. There's a sky on the on the team here, so on the enemy team. So we did kind of see this before, but like I said, this was only a 13 second clip of four on Twitter. But this is actually the full six minute gameplay clip here. Oh, look at that little tutorial here about the spike. So you can pick up the spike, and I'm assuming that little spike icon is it tells you uh, when you're if you or your teammate I think has the spike. Buy menu. Pretty standard. We've seen this before. Alright. So trying to take a look at some of the UI elements here. We've got all the abilities on the right hand side. We have jump, we have crouch, we have walk. Uh, the knife next to reload. Mini map on the top right. I'm curious if this person right here is playing three finger. Or they could be playing claw. Four finger claw. Phoenix just gets wiped out. Now the other thing that it's kind of hard to tell here in the quality of the video is when the enemies are walking, um, you do hear, or, or within your reticle, you do see footsteps or gunshots, um, which kind of tells you exactly which direction things are coming from. Okay, hold on. I need to take a step back right there. They w we went into some settings here. Let's take a look exactly what. All right. So I'm going to pause this here. If you guys want to go ahead and take a look, I'm going to actually do some translation offline as well. But it does seem like you have, of course, shooting on the right, shooting on the left. Uh, and it seems like you can have the, the third option there as well. Oh, missed that one, but all right. And then some more settings here. Let's just continue on. I'm not going to keep pausing here. Sensitivities, it seems like. Crosshair settings. Um, not too bad. So anyway, as I was saying, guys, there is a reticle status that tells you where people are, if they're in front of you, behind you. As you can see right above, it's kind of hard to see. It's uh, very lightly gray. Um, I'm not sure if that's something that the community will like. I mean, we don't have that on PC. Um, they, they literally just diffused it. Full stack team and they just completely let him defuse it. Cool. Oh uh, man, this is some silver gameplay. Anyways, um, maybe bronze. <laughs> uh, right. So now he's got spike and then we can see right next to the uh, vandal, he has a spike icon. So I'm assuming you would select that to plant, but let's see if he gets onto the site and is able to plant, we'll see if that's exactly what it comes out to looking like. Let's see how long the rounds are. Rounds are a minute and 39 seconds. Alright. See, so no footsteps or anything on the reticle. There's someone probably in market. I would assume. Yep, there they are. They're in market. See, this is where... Maybe for casual mode, having the, the sound and footstep notification may be useful. Uh, I'm wondering if the community would feel strongly about uh, disabling that 
for competitive gameplay. Uh, or if in custom lobbies, you can actually disable that. All right. So 1-1. One, one. We're about only two minutes left of gameplay, so it's not the full match. Uh, like the Phoenix gameplay that I posted earlier with 13 minutes. So this is only six minutes, so it's about probably... Uh, Oh, there's a lot of people in B. Oh, he's getting the clean out right there. 21 HP going around to B site. Phoenix definitely fell back. Phoenix right there with an operator just got destroyed. Why am I shout casting this? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, cool. All right, all right. So pretty cool to see, man. Ascent is actually one of my favorite game maps uh, in Valorant. Uh, and it's really great to see it here in mobile. Seems pretty standard. I want to say almost a one-to-one. -one. We won't really know until we actually start digging into more of the actual maps. So two to one. So it's the fourth round here. Yeah, same. This, this, so the quick buy menu, and then we have the full buy menu there with you know all the individual guns. Um, I personally am a huge fan of that. I think that is great. Um, you know, some, it would be really cool if you can set that configuration. For example, you know you have X amount of currency for you to specifically set up certain buy presets, not only for your personal account, but also for the agents that you're playing. That would be pretty cool. All right, so now we, we're finally seeing some operator gameplay. I know a lot of people were asking about this. We see tons of rifle, vandal, and phantom gameplay, but now we have operator gameplay. So let's go ahead and see exactly how this turns out. Really interesting strat running onto site. Someone is on site behind him. It's brimstone, and you know, we did not get any operator gameplay. <laughs> no operator gameplay for us. So, the good thing here, which I already like, there is no spray and pray. Unlike in you know a certain game called Hyperfront, you could basically run around and spray and get headshots. It does not seem that looks different. Window window to a cat looks way different. All right, so there we have it, guys. That is the end of the six minutes and fifty seconds gameplay that we have of Breach on the Valorant Mobile closed alpha in China. Now, I challenge you guys to go ahead into the comments below and let me know what your thoughts on the gameplay. Unfortunately, we did not get any operator gameplay, but overall, Valorant Mobile at that time looked really polished. So now, of course, the big question is, it's polished. Why are we not getting Valorant Mobile news or updates from Riot. Once again, huge shout out to Danny Intel on Twitter and on YouTube for providing this info. And then of course, guys, if you like this video, smash that like button and hit subscribe for more Valorant Mobile content on this channel. And until then, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.